like my, um, my mother in Japan, she has a place that looks like yours. Mary, do you live in the countryside? No. That looks like where my Japanese mother and father live. Okay. I live in town. Yeah, but I like it. It's cool. It looks like it's in the countryside. Ho Chi Minh City, Sunny. Sunny, let's go to the next person. Um, how about Ellis, number 10? Hey, Ellis, were you telling me last night that you sell cookies at school? No, I, uh, uh, I never sell cookies okay. at school. Because um, I asked Ken and he said, oh, you can sell cookies at school. So I thought that was interesting if you make cookies. Uh, I wasn't sure, Ellis, if that was you or not. How about Tom, Tom 12 from Hung Yen? Hey, Tom, how are you? Is Tom there? Oh, you guys, Tom doesn't have his microphone on. Oh, no. Let's go to Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how are you? You can sell comics, too. Sarah also has the cool headphones and the mic, so you guys look like fighter pilots in Top Gun or computer game players. Hey, Sally, how are you? Sally? Do you have your microphone on? If you guys don't have your microphone on, I'm going to skip you very quickly. Kevin, how are you? Good. I'm good. I'm very good. I just saw some picture from the funny Very cool. What's that behind you? Did someone catch a shark or is it just a, a man fish? A man fish. A man fish. <laughs> All right. It's a man fish. So, uh, I, like Spider -Man. I like Spider Man more better. So that's Please, just a. That's a costume of the fish. Oh, it's a costume. Okay, it's not a real fish, not a real shark. No, Mary. it's a real fish. Stanley oh, I don't now. think so. Roland, it kind no, of looks it's like a shark to me. puppet. A <laughs> shark puppet. Hey, Pizza, um, Michael. I want to try hey, to look at you. Are you there? Pizza. Marissa, oh, are Michael. you there? Yeah. All right, you guys are talking too much. We're getting ready for the mute button. Maybe Mizuki's teacher would like to start muting you guys. We don't mean to do it, but you guys are shouting at each other. But it's okay because you sound friendly. It's good to be friendly. I have an idea. Why don't you guys who really want to talk to each other use chat, but don't chat, don't spam the chat box with crazy emoticons of pizza and stuff like that. You can talk to each other nicely, right? Don't call each other bro. Don't use bad language. Don't say bad things. Say hello to each other politely, nicely, right? That's what we're hoping for. Start a nice conversation. All right. Elizabeth, are you there? Elizabeth Lan in Ho Chi Minh City with the beautiful flowers behind you. And that is Elizabeth, are you there? Yeah. How are you today, Elizabeth? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Good, nice to hear from you. And yeah. let's see, I'm just checking the microphones for everybody. Sally, did you get your microphone to work? Why is two teacher Brendan on the camera? Are there two teacher Brendans on the camera? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm like uh, Naruto. I can uh, duplicate there, myself. Um, I can make. Actually, there's um, two sections. So there's a, an arrow. When I uh, press that, I saw another you. Oh, well, Roland, it's kind of cool. It means there are two powerful Brendan teachers in the room. And so be careful. You know, I can fight my enemies like that because I'm like Naruto. Hey, Jenny, nice to see you. How are you? Mm. You look so happy. Mm. Are you happy to be here today? I'm good. Mm. Good, you look great. All right. You guys, let's start our lesson because I'm just making sure everybody's here. It's been about eight or nine minutes since we started class. So thank you for coming. There are 36 of you and there's Mizuki, teacher and myself. So we're gonna have to work with you guys uh, carefully. Uh, let's see, I'm going Mr. to- Mr. Brandon. Yes. Can you see our camera in my house? Uh, no, I can't see the camera in your house. Okay, let's see. Can you I see the see. white thingy on the top? Oh, that's your camera in your thing, okay. Oh. okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I see it now. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's cool. It's good, okay. Um, so, you guys, um, let's see. I'm going to do a share screen because I started talking to Ken and Sonny about this. Um, thing that I worked on, I worked on very hard for you guys, called debate. 
And so we're starting here with that big positive sign and the negative sign. Now, this doesn't mean happy, which you see this emoticon, plus equals happy, negative means sad. That's not what I mean, you guys. What I mean here is in debate, you have to start thinking about affirmative team means you agree with something. Negative means, nah, I don't think so. So I keep using that same example, you guys. School uniforms are good. I really like my school uniform. Negative team says, no, we don't like school uniforms. They're too hot in summer in Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi or in um, other places in Vietnam, um, like Hue City, because Da Nang, because it's so hot in Vietnam, it's like 38 or 40 degrees in some cities. So you say, we're against school uniforms in summer. Maybe we could wear casual uh, shorts and shirts to school in summer. Okay, so um, remember, affirmative means we support, negative means we're against. Okay, so let me ask, since um, Roland, do you like to read? Roland, you have so much energy today. Okay, how about Min? Min, would you like to read? Yes. Okay, Min, can you read this affirmative team here? I put, you can read all of this here. Affirmative team. The affirmative team argues in favor of a proposition, an mm -hmm. idea such as plastic bags should be banned. Why? You must provide constructive arguments with which almost all of you know how to do because I've seen this in your videos and writing. Constructive arguments mean your ideas are good and you have organized the, uh, the ideas correctly. Mm -hmm. And you must respond to the negative team with the present their opposing argument in the plastic bag example. They might start by saying, we do not think that banning plastic bags is a good idea. Why? The negative team might say, banning plastic bags leaves shoppers with nothing to put their foot in if they forget to bring their own bag. And so buying a bag at the store can be expensive for some people. Therefore, we do not support banning plastic bag for shopping. Oh man, wonderful. You did a great job. I'm really happy with that. That's so great. Okay, so you see how that works, plastic bags. And so you say, Brendan, teacher, what are you talking about? Oh, look, you guys, here it is. All right, Ken, you have so much energy. Can you read, and thank you very much, Min, that was wonderful. Ken, can you read the negative team, please? Okay. Mm. Negative team. The negative team opposed the uh, res what is word resolution resolution or proper proposition proposition they are proposition they counter offer counter rebuttals can say this word rebuttals rebuttals mm. can I say that word. Uh, who's talking? Me. <laughs> okay, Ken, there's a little delay. It sounds like there's someone else talking. Ken, can you finish that? The rebuttal in Vietnamese, what is that? Equals so back. Mm. So back bar. Yeah, Rene it means rebuttal. You say, I disagree, or our team disagrees. Remember right. from last week, we yeah. discussed creating responsibility for each team member each mm. team member will have a specific speaking role this simply means one student will speak first then the second speaker and the first speaker for today's section i want you to practice this with your team it is easy you will mm. say i will go first the, and then you read one part of your team preparation, your negative team, then sends the first speaker, then your affirmative team, lets speaker to try, and so on. 
Yeah, nice, Ken. So what that means is you take turns. One person stands up from the negative team and says, we disagree. We think it's a bad idea. Then they sit down after they give their ideas. Then affirmative team number two speaker goes and then negative number three. So it's a team that you take turns doing it, right? By the way, do you see these plastic bags? They look friendly, but they're bad for the environment. But then you could argue, no, this is a strong bag. I really like it, right? So um, here we go. We have some more beautiful pictures for you. And Olivia, you raised your hand. Would you like to read the debate topics? Yes, debate okay. topics. You can practice these in small groups of three day, mm. of three today. Your group decide on which topic you would like to argue. Option one: Should children grade school age eight to twelve be required to join a sports team for sport such as volleyball, badminton, basketball, or soccer? Mm. Option two: Should plastic bag for shopping or bringing to school be banned? If you choose this plastic bag topic, you might argue in favor of reusable bags that you bring to the store yourself. Very good, Olivia. Excellent reading. Olivia, does your family use the reusable bags or the plastic bags? Um, my family uh, usually uh, use reusable bags, but... Yeah. Uh, we probably buy something and they give us a uh, plastic bag then yeah. we save it then anytime we need it like to give things to uh -huh. other people we use that plastic bag to go oh that's really good olivia yeah if you use the plastic bag again that's called second use it means the second time and that can actually cut the world's plastic by 50 percent if you use the bag a second time a third time it's a really good idea so olivia in your team you could actually say that you say well we don't think plastic bags are such a bad idea because you can reuse them two times or three times so we're still not using so many bags that's a really good one Hey, Roland, you have your hand up. What would you like to say, Mr. Roland? Roland, what happened to you? Roland. All right, um, I can find one. What is required? Require? Option one. Re Option one. Oh, require means you must do it. The, the teachers and the schools say you must join a sports team. It's kind of serious or strict. Required means you, you have to do it. You must do it. It's a great question. Thank you, guys. Required means I must do it because the teacher tells me or the school principal tells me, right? And it could be, you know, the government tells the schools, we need more kids ages 8 to 12 to join sports because we want to make them healthier. And you guys told me in many of our meetings in debate club and writing club that you actually really like team sports like soccer and badminton. So this is why I thought of this question. Hey, Min, what would you like to say? Why, why the plastic bag bag? Um, because they go into the ocean. So if you look at Kevin behind you with the shark, um, the plastic bags go into the ocean, Min, and they kill fish and they kill sea turtles. The animals get caught in the plastic bags. It's really terrible. And some, um, some birds eat the plastic and they eat plastic. Um, they get it caught in their stomach and they die. So some parts of the world, in the Pacific Ocean especially, uh, many sea animals and birds are dying. It's a really bad problem, man. And it looks really ugly, too, because you could have like a beautiful beach in Vietnam where people love to go swimming. And then one day, all this plastic comes washing onto the beach, and it takes hours and hours to clean it up. And it looks really dirty and terrible. Yeah, great question, man. Are they back on the land? Yeah, they're bad on lakes, they're bad on land. <laughs> so plastic bags are actually pretty bad, Min. Um, in Japan, they have these big black birds called crows and the crows actually eat the plastic too. Man, it's not good, it's really bad for animals. Kevin, what do you want to say? Because you guys are asking good questions about this topic. Teacher, don't do it. the plastic bag kill the shark behind me. Yeah, he would kill the shark behind you. I don't know if they kill sharks, but they kill all the fish that the sharks eat. So they're pretty bad. 
Also, you know, McDonald's has the plastic straws. Those are really bad. There's a famous video where a sea turtle, really big, beautiful sea turtle, has a plastic straw up its nose. So these guys pull it out and all this blood comes out. It's really terrible, right? So we yeah. don't want to eat those. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Let's see. Who else do we have? Oh, you guys, by the way, thank you for turning on your mute questions after your questions, because that really it's helps us um, to keep, you know, quiet. Not because you're being bad kids. You love to talk. And some of you are really good conversation people. So let's go to one of those good conversation people, Mr. Ken. Ken, did you want to say something else? Oh, how to answer because the shark died? Okay, try. If the fish eat the plastic, they die. If mm, the shark will eat the fish, the fish has <laughs> eaten the plastic. Yeah. yeah, Kevin, this is 100% true. It's excellent. Okay, uh, here's some shouting. Let's turn some microphones I, off here. Uh, I have a question. All right, who is that? Who, who, who? All right, Lily, you've been quiet. So, Lily, please, by all means, ask a question or make a comment. Hello, Lily. Yes, teacher. Lily, did you want to read or did you want to ask a question or make a comment? I want to read. Oh, okay. So wait just a second. I'll have to remember Lily would like to read the next part. I promise. Vanessa, you have your hand up. What would you like to contribute? Vanessa, you always ask good questions and have good comments. What would you like to say about all of this? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? My... So we have two options. We have should students 8 to 12 be allowed to play sports? Or option two, should plastic bags be banned? What's more interesting for you? I choose op option two. Okay, the plastic bags. I think that will be a popular one. I'm just going to quickly go through the questions. Victor, would you like to ask a question or make a comment? I want to ask a question. Okay. All right, what's the comment? Yeah. What if the whales eat the garbage? The world's garbage, uh, most of it is in the ocean, Victor, and that's a real difficult way to clean it up because the ocean goes down like a thousand meters and it's hard to get all that plastic, right? So, you know, that's probably a bigger, if the garbage is on the land, you can collect it and burn the plastic. Um, they do that in China and they have a pretty good way. China's system is actually so advanced, so good that they bring in plastic garbage from all over the world to burn it, and you have to pay money for that. All right. I wish in the future they have a well vacuum machine. Yeah, that's true. Um, Roland, do you think that those machines in the ocean are good enough to get all the plastic? Um, I think because whales live in the ocean, so if we had a robotic well. Hmm. That can um, like clean the ocean. That would yeah. be good. That's pretty cool. I like that. A supersized robotic cleaning whale. Really, that's pretty cool. Mary, Mary, you want to make a comment? So please, Mary. Yes, I will. So okay. I would be with the pla plastic bags. Okay. Why are you interested in the plastic bags, Mary? The plastic bag is. Sometimes useful and sometimes harmful. Plastic bag, my family use it for a lot, of, a lot of time. My family have a lot of plastic bags, though. So, oh, they didn't put it in the garbage. They put it out when we need to use it. So yeah. we do. Yeah, Mary, but, I had to put a lot of plastic bags out in the garbage in Taiwan where I was a teacher and I always missed the plastic bag truck. So I had to bring my plastic bags to high school and the teacher said, oh, don't worry, Brendan, a lot of workers and teachers bring their plastic bags to the high school and we put them in the plastic there. But it was a lot of work, Mary. You live on Taiwan? Yeah, I lived in Taipei for one year and there were so many things to learn, Ken. It was unbelievable, especially about garbage. They're so strict about garbage. Okay, um, let me talk to Lily. Are you ready? I want you to read for us. Can you read all of this with the fire here, Lily? I'm making a circle with it. 
Okay, so Lily, your chance. Can you read this? I would like you to. Okay, teacher, I would like to you to form small three member teams in small member breakout rooms of the of three members discuss the to topic. When you have a good idea, please enter it into chat and also at least one team member write your ideas down. Remember, do not spam the chat box with nonsense. <laughs> we need the chat, the chat box open for your group responses. Yeah. Myself and the teachers will be checking in on your teams to make sure you are discussing either of the two options. Yeah. When we perform our first debate this afternoon, try to use special speaking patterns mm -hmm. for the affirmative teams try a few of these statements. We support the propositions that plastic bags should be banned. We think they should be banned. We will present several key arguments, including or we stand in favor of where school age students be required to at the least one sports team during the great school days. We support children joining sports teams because many young students want to play sports like badminton, but they have to wait until secondary school, but they want to play now. Why should they have to wait so long when they could become very good players by the time they are 13 years old and ready for secondary school. In this way, Vietnam could have some very good Olympic badminton players on their team because kids can start playing young. Yay, Lily, nice reading. Very precise, excellent reading. Olivia, would you like to make a comment? If you guys noticed, I'm using this, we stand in favor of, we support, we support. Teachers. Yeah, who is that? Who is there? You have to say who you are. Teacher, who is Sony. Sony. Hey, Sonny. Sonny or Sony? How do you say your name? Sonny. Sonny, what would you like to say? I think Sony. I think plastic back. It's difficult to decompose. Very nice, Sonny. Sony. Teacher, it's oh, it's oh, Sony. It's not. Okay, Sony. hey, Sony. Sony said um, plastic bags are difficult to decompose, which means break down in the ocean or break down on land. So some Sony, you could say, we stand in favor of banning plastic bags because- It can broke, it can and, broke plastic, but yeah. it can take for a thousand years to break this that is true. plastic. Yeah, who said that? Who said that? Ken. Is that Ken? Yeah, Ken, nice. Okay, so you're gonna take yeah. part two of Sony. Some random uh, scientists- okay, well, oh, hey, 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 one person at a time, one person at a time, let's not keep shouting. Ken said it would take thousands of years for plastic to break down. That's true. Break down means decompose, you guys. But putting it in a debate style, you would say, we stand in favor of banning plastic bags because to break down the plastic, to decompose the plastic, takes thousands of years. It's a wonderful argument. I say go with that argument 100% because it's really good. Okay? Now, you, if you're going to do a debate today in your teams, we also have to do for the negative teams. So can I ask uh, Mr. Roland, are you there? I see Roland. Roland, would you like to read this, the negative teams? It's all here. Would you like to read that? Okay, here we go, everybody. Roland. For the negative team, try using this experience. Exper Expression. Expressions. <laughs> A possible response from the negative team. We take a contrary sentence to proposition, proposition that great school children could join at least one sport team during their great school years. Yeah. Our opposition stems. Yeah. 
of the fact that kit kids in Vietnam already have so much homework and after school things to do that having to stay after school to play on a sport team takes too much time and energy. Kids will end up being completely tired when they come home for dinner each evening. It's better to wait until secondary school at age 13 when young students are stronger. That's all. Hey, Roland, what do you think? What's your opinion? Do you support uh, after school sports or are you against after school sports? Um, I. Because you're 11 years old, you're almost ready for secondary school at age 13. Would you, like to, would you like to join a sports team? No. no. <laughs> okay. So you would be maybe against it. You say, no, I don't want to join a sports team. Do you have a lot of homework, Roland? Yes. Yeah. So for you, you could say, we, we take a contrary stance, means we don't like it. Um, stems from means comes from. So that's where you said, friend, what word stems from. Yeah. All right. Who wants to teacher say something? Roland, teacher Roland is lying. He begins he to ride the bike for a whole night. Oh, no. Sony and Roland are fighting again. So Sony says you rode a bike for the whole night. I don't know, Sony. I find that a little hard to... You would to die ride. after this. You couldn't go out and ride a bike all evening. I don't you think his mom and dad would let him do that. Min, would you like to make a comment? Yeah. Okay. What would you like to say, Min? I think uh, primary students should have less homework to mm. do all the activities like play sports. Huh. So, play Min, sports. would you be against playing sports after school until in primary school? You wait until secondary school? All right. Well, let's go to Mint. Hey, Mint, you have your hand up. Good to see you, Mint. How are you today? Um, I think um, I'm good. Yeah. Hey, Mint, do, would you be interested in sports after school? Yes, I okay. like them. What sport? Um, the sport I like is um, I think is badminton. Oh, yeah. So you, you like the badminton. Now, are you, do you think it's good that all students should have to play mint? Um, maybe yes. Okay. So maybe yes. I like how you say maybe, because maybe it's a good idea, mint. It's okay to be honest. You say, yeah, maybe it is. The only thing I would say mint in a debate, they want you to say, oh, yes, I definitely support it, right? Or no, no, I definitely don't. But I like how you say, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's very funny, Mint. Okay. okay. Let's see, who else do we have? Hey, Jacob, I haven't heard from you. How are you? I'm going to go down the list. I need to hear from new students. Jacob, are you there? Yeah. Okay, Jacob, are you ready for this debate? Are you going to argue for after school sports or against? But if you're in a chat room with three people, you can also do the um, plastic banning. So it's your choice. And um, so it, I see what, it's plastic bags. Okay. And what can you say about plastic bags for us? Uh, I think it's uh, something like some insect can eat plastic uh, bag. Ah, and is that good for the insect or bad? Uh, maybe it's good for insect because uh, that insect is not like, it's not happen because plastic bag is don't cause anything to this insect. That's actually an interesting argument, Jaken. You know, that insects have some chemicals in their stomach and they can break down the plastic. That might be a good idea, Jaken. But what if it becomes like a manga or science fiction book where something bad happens? That would be terrible. <laughs> right. Okay, let me just check. I want to make sure we have, uh, it's a uh, teacher, Mizuki and me are the only two. So uh, also- Hey, Yuin, wait ready. one second. Wait, wait, yeah. Yuin, you joined us. Hey, Yuin, how are you? Good, thanks. Yuin and uh, Mizuki, for today, if you could just jump in and out of the chat rooms to make sure the students are discussing and they aren't talking about hamburgers or something, what we want to do is 
just to make sure that they are saying yes or no to plastic bags or yes or no to um, sports after school. So it's just a starting. We say uh, it instead of time. Yeah, so you're going to do 20 minutes in a chat room if you can do it, you guys. But you're going to have many small chat rooms. So I have to stay in the main room, but I'm going to let Mizuki teacher and I'm going to let Yuin jump around. You don't have to stay in one chat room. Just jump around from the rooms and make sure you guys, in English, you guys are staying on topic. So I'm going to teach you an important word here, you guys. Staying on topic, okay? So this means that you are talking about plastic bags or you are talking about sports and you are not talking about like the Barbie movie or something like this, right? Uh, okay. So are you guys Teacher ready? Do you, do you want to try this? And Teacher Brennan? Remember, yeah, hey, Mary. Can I stay in the main room? Yeah, you can stay in the main room and chat with me. Now, listen, I want Please to... Help. But listen, Please I can do. only keep two or three people in the main room because can I, I have. Can I stay in the Sorry, main room? Sorry, you're going to join the main room and Mary's going to join. Can I stay? Yeah. Can I stay? Can I stay? I can only keep about four students. I never in the stay in the room. main room. I never stay. stay. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because um, we're live streaming on YouTube, right? So. All right, let's begin those breakout rooms, you guys. We are talking. Can I stay in the main room? Well, there's the topic. I just said it five times, you guys. Do you support plastic bags or are they bad? Or do you think after school sports are good or bad? Those are your two topics, you guys. You guys make me laugh. What's Eat the your bread. What, Mr. Roland? Yes. Don't put anyone in the main room. All right, Roland, I'm almost tempted to put you in all the rooms as the umpire or the boss or the manager. No. You have a confident Can I stay way of in the main room? No. Well, I'll, I'll decide. I'll pick three students and we'll, we'll keep no. some in the main room. We well, are all not... talkative. You're all wonderful students and you guys try no. so hard. We are talkative. Okay, you guys, we have 46 students. So we're going to need at least. Um, Thank let's you, say, Let's say 12 breakout rooms. It's a lot of breakout rooms, you guys. Stay in your breakout rooms and discuss nicely, politely. And no, I'll, I want to stay with you. Well, I'm going to see what I can do. Um, so, you I mean, if you I can stay, just make sure they stay on topic today and that they don't go crazy and start talking about pizza or something like this, right? You guys are smiling because you guys, some of you know you go off topic. Okay, so stay on topic. Try to agree or disagree with respect about plastic bags or uh, no, playing sports. If... Here we go. Good luck, you guys. Oh, what, what do you know that Ooh. what happened when we're up to some up? Alex, I'm going to make you stay in the main room. And I'm going to let little Mary stay in the main room. And I'm going to let Ken stay in the main room and Sony. So I'm going to keep four of you here. Because you guys love to talk. Oh, yes. Nice spam there, Mr. Funny Shark. <laughs> All right. Enough. Teacher Brendan, I'm going to jump around the room. Yeah, if you could, because we have to make sure they stay on topic. I discussed this with Michael, and Michael Hi. teachers said, so a lot of the students kind of are just chatting about stuff that isn't on topic, right? So we don't want to keep them so on topic. Uh, we do. I'm sorry. We do want to keep them on topic. That's yeah, the yeah. Of course. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Are you guys ready in the main room? I'm looking for the main room. Um, I'm going to put, okay, let's get this off of here. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, who do I have left here? I should only, I only want um, a few students in here, about four can stay with me. I'm gonna go to the breakout rooms. Uh, okay. okay, and then the jumping around. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, so who do I have here? I am going to, Peter, join the breakout room.
Guys? No. Don't say teachers scam us. Oh, maybe teachers scam us. It's too quiet in there. Teachers scam us. I don't Nobody think so. It's unmuting. It's all quiet. Right. Yeah, and that's right now. Right. I think teacher is scamming I don't even see teacher. What a cow. Right. 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 Where are teachers? Where's the teacher? Maybe she scammed us. Maybe he'll be back soon. What a coward. Nobody. I give up. I think the teacher scammed us for real. Dumb, dumb. Nobody had a good no reason. to find the teachers where. I know. I can't see any teacher. In the I know room. where is our teacher. They are nowhere. They so what do teachers, teachers came up? Roland, teacher just what came up. What? Post there. What? Post there. I don't no. Do you mean the post there? Okay. Ah, teacher, leave us for for. Mm -hmm. Leave us for. Now. Oh, okay. Who do we have in the room? We have Tom and we have Mr. Alex. Brandon, you scam us with no reason. What happened? Yeah, you just scam us with no oh. reason. What? No reason what? You Nobody is for no reason. Why? No reason why. Why did you stand? No reason when you came this room. You know why? I'm well, checking well, on you well, like well. a policeman teacher. Yeah. Yeah, a policeman you're, teacher. You're a coward. Why don't oh, you? Oh no, Alex, that? you're getting muted for being mean. I Let's thought you disappeared. Are you being mean? Ah, uh, I disappeared. Question, are you guys using the language? I support plastic bags. I support after school sports. Let's Me, go to you the just oh, you just on. My, you my All right, yeah. Alex and Roland, we have to be quiet for just a moment no, now. I'm Alex, quiet, please, right, Roland. Yeah, Vanessa, um, would you like to join this noisy group if these guys would be quiet? <clears throat> All right, Vanessa, what would you like to say? Uh, no one in the breakout room can pass with me. No one turn on the microphone. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so please don't turn on the microphones, you guys. Um, please uh, let Vanessa speak. Okay, Vanessa. Uh, yes. What do you want to choose, Vanessa? The plastic bags or the after-school sports? Yes, I choose the plastic bags. Okay, and what would you like to say about it? Yes, uh, I think that using plastic bags is bad, and uh, because uh, plastic bag has many disadvantages, mm. such as um, like people use it, and after that they threw they threw out the the beach or mm. something like that, and it is very difficult to and costly to recycle and. Most end up on landfill sites where they take out uh, around three, three hundred hundred years to photo degrade. Yes. Yes. They break down into tiny toxic mm. 
particles that contam contaminate contaminate the soil and waterways and enter the food chain when animals accidentally ingest them. Mm. Nice and, work, Vanessa. And they they harmfully effects on uh effects on the mm. environment. Okay. So I think it is bad and we should use some the other bags just uh, like uh, the reusable bags you call those. Yes. Yes. Hey, Vanessa, really good. If you're reading it um, during the debate, in some debate situations, you can be a team of three people. You could be the researcher. So you quickly find information and then you write it down on a note or you show your tablet to the other team members and they could use those words that it takes 300 years to decompose. It's excellent data in a debate situation to support your team members. So remember that if you're thinking, what should I do on the team? Should I be the first person, the second or the third? I would say, um, Vanessa, you're ready to be a good research person for your team if you want to do that. Yeah. Thanks. Vanessa. Kevin, what would you like to add? We're going to go Kevin and then Nin. Thank you for raising your hands. Uh, let's go to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, what would you like to add to this? Uh, teacher, I have a problem now. Okay, what is the problem? Yeah, you know, like, out my, like, my breakout rooms, the yeah. students, they, they don't co cooperate with me. Like, uh, they don't go around the mix. I ask them a lot, but they don't answer, and they just quiet, yeah. All right, so Ms. Um, Elizabeth, if they're giving you a hard time and they're not answering or they're being crazy, remember, please tell Ms. Duke, and then unfortunately you have to tell what the students' names are, and then she'll talk to their mom or dad and try to you know, make the situation yeah. better. And Elizabeth, that can also be for a really quiet student too, who's just not helping. You, know, you could say, this student needs to talk more, right? Yeah. Okay. Elizabeth, thanks so much. I forgot your age 12 means you're helper 12. So I'm really sorry I didn't ask you today. You're doing a yeah. great job helping. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hey, Ruby has her hand. What would you like to say, Ruby? Mm, so like children should join like at least one sport at school because mm. that because that will like give them an advantage to be stronger, but yes. but at at grade four, like me, if huh? if I would if I would you know, play basketball while I have a lot of homework, then uh -huh. then when I get home, then when I get home, I I maybe have to wor worry about my homework because yeah yeah because you guys are so busy. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, and playing uh, sports after school will like take up too much energy, and and when children get home, they will be extremely tired, and they can't do anything but just lying down on the table. I've seen this, Ruby. I've seen students when I was a high school teacher in Taiwan. They, they lunchtime after lunch, it's so hot in Taipei from May, June, July, August. The students all go in and they sleep on the desks. It's okay to sleep half an hour after lunch because the uh, schools in tai Taipei City, Taiwan, say it's okay for the students to take a rest because they're so busy, Ruby, um, studying all the time. Nice work, Ruby, nice speaking voice. See, this is why I tell you guys, try to be a little bit more quiet, quiet because Ruby just introduced some really good points that the students will just come home and collapse. So tired, it's an excellent debate point, Ruby. All right, let's see. Um, we have uh, Min, you raised your hand. Thank you, Min. What would you like to do? Plastic bags or after school sports? Uh, plastic bags. Okay, what would you like to say, Min? I think they must be banned because it takes thousands of years for, they, mm. for them to disappear under the, under the ground. Mm. And if they flow to the, the ocean, they will kill many fish because mm -hmm. when the fish eat the eat them, they mm -hmm. they will they can they can breathe and they can die. Yes, this is true. And so you know there are people who say, well, who care about fish? Nobody cares about fish. But this isn't true, you guys, because do you know when we eat fish um, for dinner or lunch, the fish has small plastic in it. And, human and then beings we eat the plastic. 
yes, we're eating the plastic, George. That's absolutely right. So if you do a debate, you could say, I really do not think that plastic bags are a good idea because they're going into the food cycle with fish, especially, and we're eating the plastic as human beings. And that's really bad for your body to have small pieces of plastic in it. George, and nice. You know that. Can we get banned on nuclear, um, nuclear factory in the world? <laughs> and I think when the plastic uh, under the ground, mm. the pen can grow very well. Yeah, so plants. And then uh, plastic maybe damages the plants, Min, you say? Yes, and yeah. the plant will die. Yeah, the plants also die. Um, that special plant called coral. Okay, um, can I check with Nu Hien? Uh, yeah, who is that? Sony. Oh, the Sony is back. Sony, think, I... Sony, what do you want to say? I think some people just like do nonsense things. They want to plants grow quickly. They just put batteries in their soil. Batteries in the soil. Where did you learn about that? On the internet or did a friend tell you about that? His mom told him. <laughs> All right, Rowan, be careful. He's going to start fighting with you again. I, can you guys, can I ask, um, T. Nanyan, you have your raised hands. Okay, shh, right here. No fighting. Stop that fighting, Sony. Let's go to KHTH202, New Yen. T. Nan, please ask. Hello. New Yen, are you there? T. T. Ni, T. Nan, are you there? T. Nan? Tinan, I can't hear you. George, go ahead, ask your question then. Uh, we always use plastic bags to fill our our groceries in mm. there to to bring food easier. But if the plastic bags go into the ocean, they will damage the ocean, and the fish will eat them, and the fish will die, and the plastic bags and also can also damage the environment and the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. the, the plastic bags can go into the ground and get, and can damage the the proteins of the ground and and the ground gonna don't have any nutrients for the plants to grow and the yeah. plants will die. Very good, George. That's absolutely true. I hadn't thought of that. So it's good. Hey, George, thank you. Excellent work. Leo, can you finally hear me? Hey, Leo. Yeah. How are you? Sorry, I, I had a question. You. Okay, I please. I had a question. All right, question please, Leo. Do the plastic made it dangerous for the island? For the what? Islands. Oh, island. Oh, yes, definitely, Leo. Um, do you know that famous small island in the Pacific? The Americans have um, a place there. It's called Midway Island. Do you know Midway? Uh, I don't know. It's this small island and it's away from the Hawaiian chain. And the Americans and Japanese fought a great battle there in 1942 in June. <laughs> yeah. So the Americans yeah. are still there. And there are whole parts of that island in Midway. Leo, I'll try to find a picture of it for you guys. Um, the plastic pollution problem is so that bad. That island there. is full of plastic. Yeah, George, you know it? Midway Island? So Midway Island, I'll try to get a picture for you guys. But let's um, close the breakout rooms. And then for Leo and George, I'll get a picture of that. Okay, you guys? So I'm going to close the breakout rooms. I hope everyone was trying. Hey, did you, where is that island? It's called Midway Island. It's a what famous is Midway Island. island. I just know it what means, that is. It, it means Midway because it's mid. It's in the middle of the Pacific, right? So that's why it's called Midway Island. And because you guys asked the question, let me do this here for you because it's important to give you guys an education because you guys understand a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool, right? So I'm going to type in here Midway Island. Oh, hello, Shirenen. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Mary hey, tried to call me, but I got super busy answering some questions, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's okay. I, uh, all right, I'm sorry. Mary, what was your question? You can ask me now. I don't know. Oh, all right. I'm going to start showing you guys some pictures of Midway Island because 
you said, well, what's Midway Island? And we'll look at it on a map, but I also want to show you what it looks like. So you guys tell me, this looks so terrible. Ah, I know, Midway Island is on the south of, um, <clears throat> I know, so Atlantic you, Ocean. Look at how beautiful there's beaches, right? But then look at this garbage comes from Mexico, America. Oh, it's on Canada. the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Wait, is that a bomb? It's so bad. We here. And so, do you see the sea turtle? It's the sea turtle bad. is dead, yeah, right? And so, people try to clean it up, but look at how much garbage mm -hmm. there is, you guys. How bad it is. You could reuse it. Oh my gosh. And now, this is a terrible piece it. of work. This is so there. bad. This is not going. Do you see the bird? The oh bird my. is dead. Why is the bird weird. dead? This oh is no. the bird's stomach. Is, is the bird ate all of this plastic? Or isn't it's that an terrible? Eagle. It's an eagle. I feel right. bad for those no. birds. So do you see and all this? They're bad. Yeah. And so wow, they're trying to there's an egg. There's yeah. an egg. It's just the unbelievable. The bird eats the plastic and then the plastic um, broke the yeah. bird's stomach. Look and at this bird. Reduce, reduce it. This bird is dying. Right. So, okay. And do you see that? It looks shiny, so he tries to eat it. Do you see there are batteries here? There is plastic here. This is a really yeah. bad problem, you guys. So if you were There's, doing it, it will look and steal. The people the in bird, America are feeding the bird plastic. Mm -hmm. The so bird is like, bad. ooh, what's this? <laughs> I right. think, teacher, I it's think, the teacher, I think yeah. the, the Midway Island the island was full of garbage because the because when the American and the Japanese fight and and then they put all the garbage there. This is true, you know. Okay, um, so Midway Island here is the Pacific Islands. Here is Vietnam, and so the Midway Island, I believe, is here or here you guys but i want a better picture that's not so good there's the Whoa. battle you guys were talking about between japan oh, and yeah Michael. Is. Okay, Michael. So, do you see yes. this is hawaii and then this is midway island here they say oh, midway right there. this is the pacific ocean and it's right in the middle that's why it has the name midway midway right but the Whoa, problem is right there. there too the ocean goes around like this right you guys and it goes around in a cycle. And so a lot of the garbage comes from here, 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 here. And it goes to Midway Island. It's really a sad, sad problem, you guys. Okay. You oh, did it to pass the beginning. In the I'm going to ask I'm gonna ask Alex, Japan. Um, Let me ask Kevin from Hanoi. Hey, Kevin. Hey, ask me. Ask oh, me. I can oh, answer Alex, all you're the questions. I'm a genius. Let's ask Kevin. What's Kevin. What's mute time, time, mute time, mute time, mute time. All right. Kevin, what do you think? Did the students do a good job of discussing plastics or discussing after-school sports? Um, in Midway Island, I just see a big a bunch of dead bird on it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I see just a bunch of dead birds. That's funny. Hey, Kevin, can I ask you? You started today's class. It was really great. Um, Kevin, what did you think of the discussion? Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And then how but, about... Uh, but why that bird on Midway Island anyway? Because he swallowed all the plastic and it, he can't the eat any food. Name, the bird name is... Milton Eagle. Yeah, nice work. Or Albatross. Albatross, too. Hey, Ken from Bing Din. Ken, are you there? You have your hand up. Ken, what would you like to say? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay. That's mom. his mother. Murder. Right. Wait, right. ask somebody oh, else. Yeah. Okay, so let's um let's okay, if you could take that off of there now, um, from the share screen. Whoever put that up, please do not do that. Ask Have for it. for okay. So please don't ask permission before you do share screen because it's kind of shocking. All right. All right. So um you guys, we have to go to share screen. And I want to get the next part of our lesson ready. And so I have it for you here.
And uh, staying on topic, we did that. You were pretty good about staying on topic. We just have to think about that. And I'm going to do the share screen. And homework, are you guys ready? I'm going to introduce the homework because we have about a half an hour left. But I need somebody to read for us, all right? So I'm going to see Ken, you're there. Okay, who's talking? Too many people. Olivia, you read. Ken, you read. I need somebody new to read, someone who wants a chance. Sally, would you like to read? Okay. Mary, wait one sec. You can read part two. I like to let's read. Go to, let's go to Sally. Would me. You like to read? Okay, shh, shh. Sally's going to read for us. Homework use the affirmative books and phrases to make a two minute video presentation. In this video, make statements such as one, our team firmly believes that. Two, first and foremost, let's clarify our stance. Three, allow us to present our case for. Four, we are here today to advocate for. Five, it is our contention that. Six, let us begin by highlighting the key points of our agreement. Seven, we propose that. Eight, our position is grounded in the fact that. Nine, we aim to demonstrate that. Ten, we assert that. Also, want... you should tie oh, the... Oh, Sally, Sally, wait, wait, wait. I just want to do affirmative and talk about that. So you guys, these are really important to use in your debate. So I really want you to know these. So I'm going to put this as a PDF file in the YALO for your group and debate on Sunday. And for your homework, please, please remember to use these. You can all, you don't have to do a full subject. You can quickly take a subject like number one, our team firmly believes that banning plastic bags is a good idea. Then you can go to number two. First and foremost, let's clarify our stance. Doing after school sports is um, too much work for young primary school students. Number three, allow us to present our case for um, better playgrounds in the schools in Vietnam. Number four, we are here today to advocate for good summer school uniforms. So do you see I'm changing all the topics because I don't want you to do one or two paragraphs on one topic. I just want you to introduce topics that we've been talking about the last six weeks with teacher Michael or me about school uniforms, bringing smartphones to school. You don't have to give any details. You just have to try a topic. I'll leave a sample of how that works in just a moment. Okay, now I want to sell you did a great job, but I want someone else to get a chance to read. Vanessa, would you like to read the negative responses or the rebuttals? Okay, wait, 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 yes. wait. Okay, here's Vanessa. Also, you, sh you should try the negative responses or rebuttals. Thank you to the affirmative team for presenting their case. However, we must respectfully disagree. While we appreciate the affirmative team's perspective, we believe there are significant flaws in their argument. Allow us to offer a re rebuttal to the points raised by the affirmative team. The negative team disagrees with this view. We contend that we disagree with the premise put forth by the affirmative team. Let's Examine closely the arguments by the affirmative team and address their shortcomings. Contrary to what the affirmative team suggests, we maintain that it is our position that the affirmative team's pro proposal overlooks crucial factors such as. Yeah. So Vanessa and all of you, what those means, they all mean the same thing. It just means we disagree and this is why we disagree. We think it's a bad idea and this is why we think it's a bad idea. But remember what teacher Michael has been teaching you the last six weeks or so is that when you're in a debate, you want to use softer language. So do you see number one that uh, Vanessa read? Thank you to the affirmative team for presenting their case, you know, good manners. However, we respectfully disagree. Do you see how that's really nice and easy? It's, 
you know, if number one, you say, we totally disagree with the affirmative team because that's a really bad argument. It's really stupid. And here's why it's stupid. No, no, no. You can't do that in a debate. You have to use correct, proper language that has good manners and polite. Think about talking to your teacher at your school, your primary school or secondary school. You would never go up to the teacher and say, Hey, teacher, I want to use the toilet. I'm leaving now. She'd be like, oh, my God, you're in so much trouble for that, right? You would say to the teacher, teacher, I really have to go to the toilet badly. May I please leave the room to go to the toilet, right? You use you know, kind language with your other debate team against you, okay? So thank you so much, Vanessa, for reading that. And I'm going to put that in a file for you, of course. And I'll put the file in chat for you first so you can access it. And so what I want to do now for the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes, can you guys go back into the chat rooms and I'm gonna change the members of your chat rooms. Please remember to listen to your senior members like Vanessa, you can be a good, Sally, you guys have really good manners. Keep people on track. Leo, you're very good. You're the older students. So just make sure your mm -hmm. students try, try, try. And Elizabeth, thank you for helping. Remember the students in your room. And for Mizuki and myself and Yuin, we're just gonna make sure that you use this polite language for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make one statement each in your room. Oh, wait a minute, let's I'll tell you what. If the chat rooms are kind of like if the um breakout rooms are a little bit crazy, let's try this, you guys. Can you just start writing in chat? Let's do silent writing time for you, okay? Teacher, wait, Miriam, let me explain. So do you see the chat box? I want you to put in the chat box um, these things. And I'll put it up on the screen again. In your chat, do you understand this? I want you to choose one of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And I want you to write anything you want. We assert that eating chocolate cake for breakfast at school is the best thing ever, right? It can be crazy, but not too crazy or it can be a serious thing. Uh, we propose banning plastic bags because of this reason. Or you can do this one after school. Thank you to the affirmative team for presenting their case. However, we must respectfully disagree. We think after school sports is not a very good idea. So just choose two, one negative, one affirmative. Okay, one positive, one negative. And Put it in chat, okay? So we have just a little bit of quiet time, you guys, because you need a little, little quiet time because Mary's trying her best Teacher. to go to sleep during the lesson. <laughs> Mary, what are you doing? I'm Teacher. seeing a little sleepy. So here's your chance, little Mary. Uh, who Teacher. wants to ask? Who is that? Who's answering? Me, Teacher. Who? Who? Me, Me Teacher. Me? Who? That could be can anyone. Me. All right, George, you can go to the restroom or whoever. Who, George, I'm you have a in the main room. Well, we're not going to do breakout rooms. We're going to just do quiet typing for 15 yeah, I can minutes. Go to the restroom. All right, good, George. <laughs> George, that's very funny, I'm you guys. In the main George room. just. No, no, listen, I changed it. We're not going to do breakout rooms. What I want you to do, you guys, is start sending chat messages in chat. And this is why I do remember I wrote, don't spam the chat box. Do you see the fire? Don't put stuff in there like, I love pizza. I love hamburgers. Bleh, bad idea. What I want you to do in your chat box is to use these words. Um, our team believes that. First and foremost, let's clarify your stats. Now, I said to do one of each, but if you're an advanced student, you know, I've been hearing really good responses from Sally and Vanessa and from other students. Victor, you guys are doing a great job. Mary, of course, you're doing a great job. If you want to do as many as you can, that's fine with me. I'll quickly check them and say, that sounds good. That sounds so-so. And then part two is the homework part where you just make a video saying some of these statements, okay? Do you understand? So let's do some writing in class so you don't have to worry about the writing for your homework. And then for the homework, just make a simple video where you say, our team firmly believes that uniforms are a bad idea. Okay, so let's see. I'll keep the share on there so you can see the phrases, but I'm gonna go to the chat and let's see what we got. Good, someone said, uh, Elbus 10 said, you guys, please be quiet. Thank you, Elbus, all right. Um, so no spamming the chat box, please. 
You guys, now for the next 15 minutes, start giving me some phrases. I'll show you in the chat box, okay? For example, um, it is our contention that school lunches should definitely be improved. Okay, so all you have to do is write one, um, one statement. You don't have to prove it. I just want to see that you guys know how to use expressions like it is our contention that because you have to start using these for your formal debate. It's really important. We've done four classes with me and four with teacher Michael. So you guys have to really start showing that you can use this language of debate, right? And that way you can feel like you've really learned something. Hey, George, are you there? Teacher, I have, I have another debate. Okay, so George, I have another debate. <laughs> George, come back. What do you mean you have another debate? Uh, I have another one. That is it. We are here today to advocate for for that school. For that school, things should be yeah. possible for doing things more faster. Nice. George, can you type that in the chat box so other people can see? And he okay. chose, you guys, did you catch what George just did? It's wonderful. He used the advocate and what was the advocate, George? Was that under the negatives? No, the affirmative. The affirmative. Let's go. Very nice, George. You got a really good understanding of this. Nice work, George. The ad Oh, there it is, George. I found it. Number four. We are here today to advocate for... Okay, excellent. Pearl, you got it. It is our contention that children should have the opportunity to explore a variety of activities, including sports, while being supported in finding what best suits their interests and abilities. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm going to give you a emoticon that is just excellent. Nice work, Pearl. Really good. All right. Please send me some more, you guys. It's okay. Pearl, can I share that? We should put that to everyone. Pearl, that you did such a good job. You guys make sure that everyone can see this, okay? So Pearl, it's such good work. I want to share it with other students, all right? So if you look, oh, it's too Pearl. No, we want that to everybody. We want this to everybody. Uh, let's try here, paste. Yeah, and I, I did it, I did it already. All right, thanks, Pearl. Pearl, nice work. Pearl, have you been in debates before? No, never. Oh, my, you have a talent for it. I mean, that was so fast and so excellent, right? So, Pearl, you should definitely be the first speaker in a debate situation. You could say, okay, I'm going to lead this team of three debate people because you did that really fast and it's excellent. Nice work. Hey, George, what do you got? We are here today for that having school things for the students to do things faster. Okay, um, George, you should do we are here today to advocate for. So, George, let me correct this for you because it needs a little bit of work. And I'm going to put that here. It's no big problem. You were just typing so fast. We are here today to <laughs> advocate for having the students. I'm going to take away that for having uh, school things for students to do the things. OK, having school, having school. George, I want to change this to equipment. OK. Yeah, because, you know, when I was, um, again, I like to use the example, but when I was in Taipei last year, all the students had Apple tablets because the principal of the school was a very powerful guy. And so he got this huge cabinet full of really good Apple tablets. Now, you couldn't take them home. You could use them at the school. But inside that cabinet, there were 35 tablets. And that's a lot of money, you know. That would be like, uh, in American dollars, about $50,000 in uh, tablets, right? So um, that's school equipment that George is talking about. George, nice work on that one. Really good. You guys, don't be shy. You can write something. Each of you can write something. Hey, we have one from Kevin here. Kevin. Now, Kevin, you did this directly to Brendan, but again, you can share this with everyone. Kevin, I'm going to show this one. It's a fun one about chocolate cake, right? But Kevin, if you want, remember our target is to use one of these. Um, and I want to put this here first and foremost. Let's clarify our stance. 
I think eating chocolate cake for breakfast is not cool <laughs> because the chocolate, the chocolate scap it out. Coco, what is scap it out? What does that mean? Kevin, what do you mean scap it out? What is it, teacher? What does that mean? Scap it out. S-C-A-P. Kevin, what does that mean? Scap it out. Do you want to say made out of? Kevin, I'm going to change this a little bit for you. It is made of cocoa. Chocolate and scrap is the, the thing that you scrap on cakes. Scrap, scraped on cakes? Okay. Because be careful. Maybe it's because... the ice. Um, yeah. Maybe it's the cream. Something icy. I don't know. Oh, no, you guys. Victor, are you okay? Victor, talk to us. You just became quiet and your brother was dancing in the background. Hey, Victor, are you there? Can you hear me? Victor, are you there? Okay. I'm trying to wake Victor up because his little brother is in the back and he's dancing and playing games. Victor, be careful on that chair. You don't want to fall. Victor in Hanoi. Okay, you guys, Elizabeth, this is excellent. And she wrote, Can you solve our, my task? All right. Can you our team you firmly you believes. Solve my task? What? Who's talking? Okay, let's go to uh, Elizabeth, please. Elizabeth, our team firmly believes that students should have freedom in what they do. So we shouldn't, shouldn't be required. So, Elizabeth, you could write, shouldn't be required. Um, should it be required to do sports if we don't want to? So it's better to Elizabeth to switch into if we don't want to do something. All right. Um, teacher Ewing, can you read some of these? Because my voice is <laughs> getting damaged. I'm suffering from a sore throat. Uh, would you like to try some? Some guidance like, from uh, possible. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> A possible response from the negative team. We take a contrary stance to the proposition that grade school children should join at least one sports team during their grade school years. Mm -hmm. uh, our opposition stems from the fact that kids in Vietnam already have so much homework and after school things to do that having to stay after school to play on a sports team takes too much time and energy. Kids will end up being completely tired when they come home for dinner each every evening. It's better to wait until secondary school at age 13 when your students are stronger. Yeah, so I did the negative one for you guys. Can somebody do a negative one for us? Try the negatives. I'm going to put it here on the share screen. They're long, you guys, but at least give it a try. Mary, we are here today. Eating chocolate cake for breakfast is bad. All right, so Mary, I'm going to copy this. You want to expand this a little bit. So now remember, Mary, you don't have to give a reason. You could just say that, right? So this is to... I prefer negative. Okay, you chose a negative. I'm going to help you with this, Mary, because you tried the negative. Um, uh, let's see, we are here today. I'm going to change this. We are here today, Mary, because if it's negative, then you have to say like this. Let me show you in the chat. We say, um, allow us to offer a rebuttal to the idea that eating chocolate for breakfast is a good thing to do, a good thing to do. Yeah. All right. Do you see how this and then Mary would say, we will have tooth decay if we do this. OK, so that's to everybody. You can see what Mary. Mary, please read the new version. It says, allow us. OK, okay here we go. Allow us to offer a rebuttal to the idea that eating chocolate for breakfast is a good thing to do. You will have a tooth decay if we do this. 
Nice. And Mary, can you read this word rebuttal? Remember, I used that and I gave the Vietnamese for rebuttal. I think it's really important. Ah, negative. Yeah, negative, the rebuttal. There it is. Hey, Mary, read I rebuttal. Have. There it is in Vietnamese. Sir Bok Bo, how do you say it? Eat chocolate for breakfast is not healthy. Okay, can you write that in the oh, uh, eating chocolate for for breakfast is healthy because right. when when we are uh, doing exercise, uh, oh. we we need to uh, eat cho chocolate for uh for our sugar. Uh, all right, Alex, I'm gonna have to. Can you write <laughs> yeah, if we eat chocolate too much, uh, if we eat the chocolate cake for breakfast, the the cocoa butter will go in our body and uh, and start uh, doing stuff in our body and make us uh, weak. So we can yeah. make sure that we will if get we, some again. We will exercise in the morning and we will sweat. And then, By the way, uh, Kevin, no. right, Alex, I got to mute. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. Kevin, in Kevin, Kevin Quiet, please. Yeah. yeah. Kevin. It's true that if you eat cocoa butter, it makes your stomach make strange noises in class because that happened to my friend and his stomach was making crazy noises. And the teacher said, are you sick? And he said, no, I had chocolate chip cookies before class and his stomach has sensitive to cocoa butter, Kevin. So Kevin, it's a really good point. I'm gonna put it here He's and so remember. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever have a situation like me? What's I eat there? chocolate chips too, but when I go to school, I was tired. I mean, I was sick. Then the teacher asked, "Are you sick?" Um, uh, I said, "No, I'm just sleepy." Nice. Sure. I have that. You Sister, sound sleepy you now. Know? All right. It is your when I eat the jelly bean before before. Oh, no, that's a crazy question. I'm going to give you in Japan, you say, boo. Mizuki, remember the Japanese always say, boo. <laughs> One student just said, I'm going to eat jelly beans before class. And Brendan says, boo. All right. It means that's a bad idea. All right. It's a bad idea. All right, you guys. Kevin and his cocoa butter and chocolate. We have to put that debate style. I really want you guys to learn this so you can do this for your homework. Kevin says cocoa butter in uh, chocolate is bad for your stomach. And so we have to say this. Kevin you will like say- You smell fart smells in class. Hey, the negative team disagrees. Oh my God, you guys. The negative team disagrees with this view. Uh, we contend that cocoa- Sir, I have said another question in the chat. Okay. Cocoa butter um, can do bad things to your stomach. <laughs> so this is from Kevin, but it's for everybody to read. Uh, remember, proper debate style. The negative team disagrees with this view. We contend that cocoa butter can do bad things to your stomach, so don't eat chocolate before class. Let's see, George, is this your message? Allow us to talk about children shouldn't have to play sports seriously so children could spend more time. I write, I write it. Do you read my chat? Yeah, I'm reading it right now, George. Um, George, yes. I want to change it a little bit. So I'm going to put this to everybody. And this is from George. And this, I'm going to paste in what George wrote here again. Ken, my name is Ken. Oh, Ken. Ken, did you write this or did Kev, George wrote this? Who wrote this? Allow us to talk about that, children. Allow us to offer a rebuttal. I want to change this, George, to allow us to offer a rebuttal. Okay. And so, you guys, see, I, I chose a negative for you guys because, again, we need to practice, practice, practice. Linda, would you like to make a comment or ask a question? Hmm. Okay, I don't see Linda. Linda, if you have your hand up, you can ask. Oh, can you? I don't know this word, affirmative. What is oh, affirmative? affirmative? 
Affirmative means I agree. I agree that this is a good idea or our team agrees or we think that this is a good idea. So I'm going back up to affirmative. Affirmative means yes. Okay, affirmative. Positive, we agree. Okay. So for example, we agree that shopping bags made of plastic are a bad thing. George, nice work here. I'm going to share. George, do you see he wrote, we aim to demonstrate that we can go to bed early so they can, so that, George, change that too, so we can have full energy in class the next day. Okay, I'm going to stop the share and I'm going to ask you young geniuses. Are you ready, young genius? When do we uh, eat this, eat uh, just candy for, for breakfast so when we go to school we have one million stomach ache oh, no, I say, one million oh, stomach genius. all right genius alex what is the homework for t uh, for this week what is the homework do you have to write yeah. no, uh, no you don't have no. to write what no, do you we have need to, to do? talk we need you to, need to talk, talk on video and what are you yeah. gonna say what are you gonna say when you do it alex uh, a topic about yeah. today. And do you have to write lots of details on the topic or can you make it short? Maybe short. Very short. And what are you going to do with your topic? You're going to do one affirmative and you're going to do one negative. If you want to do more, you can. And you should always start I with want, our team. I want to do, I want to do, um, uh, negative. Okay. Negative. You want to do 25, right? Negative, not 25. Not 25. Not 25. Ah, uh, you do 25, okay? All right, if you can, it's going to be a long video. All right. Now remember, you guys, you don't have to do... Okay, so listen. Okay, I say, teach a please. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Listen, don't do a lot of supporting details, okay? Hey. Do you understand? Don't do a lot of supporting details. Just give one opinion for one of these. Affirmative one, negative one. If you can do more, do three Bro, affirmative. you're getting negative. out. Back to your... Oh, he's abandoned. You will shoot them to... Teacher, you oh, Alex, you're getting muted. You're going crazy. <laughs> Teacher, you will have to send a video to us too. But it's I'm 100, not going to send a 100, video. Uh, 100 minutes. Okay? You guys are the super heroes. You guys are the, you're going to be like YouTube stars. You have to do your own videos. I only do videos for my pronunciation classes, right? Okay. Oh, my you're, God. You'll do, you'll do the video. Teacher. Ah. You, you need, you need to oh, yeah. one hundred. Teacher. Okay. Why? Who is that? Me. Who's me? George. George. Hey, Georgie. What do you got to say? I, I already write six. Yeah, six but you still. for the debate in the chat room. <laughs> yes, but you still have to do the speaking video, Mr. George, because what? I want to hear you guys mm -hmm. practice. Remember, this is a debate class. It's not just writing, you guys. So you have to do some speaking on video. Right, George? No problems? What? George, you're, you're very intelligent, but I want to see some nice videos, okay? Are there any questions, you guys? No. Yes. Could you send right? the homework on your classes? Is it the yeah. end of the lesson? Okay, what's okay. Brendan doing here? Teacher Brendan is okay. going to copy it. Okay, here you guys go. And do you see this copy? Where is this going to go, you guys? Oh, it's funny you ask where all of this is going to go. Here we go. So, are, you looking, are you looking at Yalo? Oh, I'm looking at the debate club for Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Brendan just sent you. Bye. One more you need minute. Go I'm going home. You're going home. All right. You have one more minute. Can you say? <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have something to say with you. Alex, okay. what would you like to ah, say to okay, everybody? Okay. 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 If, 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 if,
Okay. We're going to say goodbye, you guys. Check yellow for Goodbye, your teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.